I just love the sound of an electric guitar. And that's simply focused, the, you know, the essence of it all for me. And as long as I feel that way, I'll carry on playing. Because uh, if I just sat at home and did it, you know, it would seem to be a bit uh, unfair. The term slow hand has always been attributed to you. Where, where did that come from? I don't know. I think it was um, coined by the manager of the band, the Yardbirds. His name was George Ogomelsky, and he kept calling me slow hand. I don't know. I think it was a play on words to do with uh, slow hand clapping or something. I don't know. Never really got to the bottom of that. When did you realize that, hang on, I'm pretty good at this? I don't think I ever did. I don't think I did. I don't think I did. I don't think I've ever, um, until later on in my life, accepted it as a gift, you know, because that's, that takes a bit of um, retrospect, you know, to, to look back and realize that, you know, that, it wasn't it wasn't just a coincidence that you happened to be a guitar player but at the time i just wanted to do it because i liked the music i liked that style it was uh between the age of 16 and seven, 16 17 to 20 21 that that i put all of my heart and and learning into it you know that's uh, you know i forego i for when everything else i didn't go out and go drinking or anything. I mean, I just stayed at home and learned almost 24 hours a day from listening to records, but I was deadly serious about what I wanted to be. You had well publicized battles with booze and, and, and the rest of it. And you just seemed too smart a guy to kind of get hooked up and all that. When, when did you when did you sort of learn the error of your ways and, and, and how hard was it to kind of get off of it? Well, it, it takes some people a long time to learn the error of their ways. I mean, it, for me, it was uh, many, many years of uh, experimenting with drugs and drink until they got the better of me, you know, and uh, I don't think I, unless I was actually losing my mind, which is what it got down to, I, don't, I probably wouldn't have stopped. You know, I probably would have drunk myself into the grave, but I think my greatest fear was of going insane, and I got right on the edge of that, you know, right on the edge of losing my my faculties completely. And I, I probably realized then that I had a gift, you know, going back to what you asked me earlier about whether or not I would recognized my talent as a gift. And that's probably when I did, and that's probably what saved me. How do you rate your playing now compared to the early days? Are you playing better than ever? I hope so. Yeah, I hope so. It's hard to say exactly. I mean, there's a certain amount of fire that you're going to have to lose because of the years rolling by. I mean, when you're in your early 20s, there's some kind of, there's a passion in your playing that uh, you can never recapture. But a lot of that was also watered down by the amount of uh, booze or drugs that I got into later. And now I'm hoping that... Uh, some of the clarity has come back into my work. I mean, I know what I'm doing now. Well, and for a lot of years, I didn't. Do you still practice? Not when I'm touring, no. Not when I'm touring, because my hands get very... I mean, when I play a two-hour show, uh, my hands get very... My left hand especially gets very tired and, and sore uh, on the fingertips. So I spend most of the daytime just resting it, you know.